All right, here we go. Question number 18 from our 1316 homework number eight in my lab math. They want us to find the cross product V cross W and then W cross V. So we have our two vectors, V equals 2i minus 3j plus 2k, and W equals 3i minus 2j minus 2k. And the technique that I'm going to demonstrate is the easiest way that I know how to solve the cross product manually. It starts by using a determinant where the first row is i, j, and k. The second row has to be the first vector mentioned, which is v. And those are going to be the coefficients 2, negative 3, and 2. And then the third row will be the second vector mentioned. And the coefficients would be 3, negative 2, negative 2. Now that's the first step is to write this three by three determinant. The next step is to take the first two columns and copy and paste to the outside. There's no other reason to do this except that it makes the shortcut work. So there's your second step, copy and paste the first two columns outside the determinant. And then we're going to start at the top left-hand corner. And we're going to multiply down on the diagonal. Negative 2 times negative 3 times i. That will give us 6i. Next diagonal over, 3 times 2 times j, plus 6j. And then the next diagonal over, negative 2 times 2 times k, negative 4k. Next step. Now we're going to start in the lower left-hand corner, and we're going to multiply up on the diagonal. Notice that I changed color, and I used red for a reason. Red, like in your checkbook, reminds you that you're in the negatives. And so this is going to remind us when we multiply up on the diagonal, we're going to have to change the sign of the result. So 3 times negative 3 times k, that would be negative 9k. Change the sign. Next diagonal over, negative 2 times 2 times i would be negative 4i. Change the sign. One more di diagonal over, negative 2 times 2 times j would be negative 4j. Change the sign. And then for v cross w by combining like terms. So 6i plus 4i gives me 10i. Next, I've got 6j plus 4j gives me 10j. And last but not least, we have 9k minus 4k, which is a plus 5k. And so there is the cross product V cross W. Now, before I input that into my lab math, I do want to show you that there is a way to use the calculator to check your results. So what we're going to do is go to the menu. We're going to go down to vectors and hit equal, or you can just select number five on the Casio. And we're going to select vector A. And the dimension is three because it's got an I, J, and a K. And then you're going to put in the I, J, and K in order going down to negative 3 and 2. Now the next step is you're going to clear. You're going to go to option, and we're going to define another vector. 
So this time we're going to define vector B. It's also going to have a dimension of 3. And vector B is going to be vector W. So that's going to be 3, negative 2, and negative 2. And then we're going to clear that again. And this time we're going to go option. We're going to choose vector A. That's number 3. And we're going to hit the times button. That's going to do the cross product. Go back to option number 4 for vector B. And this will do vector A cross vector B, which is the same as V cross W. And notice going down, it gives us 10, 10, and 5, which is our I, J, and K. And that's how to use the calculator to verify your handwritten work. All right, so to put this into my lab math, we're going to say 10I plus 10J plus 5K. Let's see here. To do W cross V, we start with I, J, K, first row. Now this time W is first, so we go 3, negative 2, negative 2, and then vector V, 2, negative 3, and 2. Now remember the shortcut says you take the first two columns, I, 3, 2, and J, negative 2, negative 3. You're going to copy and paste those to the outside. And then you're going to go down on the diagonal. That's going to be negative 4i, negative 4j, and negative 9k. Change in direction. Notice I changed the color. Red means we're in the negatives. We're going to have to change the sign when we multiply. So this is going to be negative 4 change it. This is going to be positive 6, change it. And again, this one is positive 6, change it. And then W cross V, if I combine like terms, I've got negative 6i minus 4i, which is a negative 10i. I've got negative 6j minus 4j, which is a negative 10j. And I've got 4k minus 9k, which is a negative 5k. Now, what I would like you to notice is how w cross v compares to v cross w. Do you see that it is exactly the same result, but all of the signs are opposite? Now, you may be wondering, is that true every time? And the answer is, well, yes, it is. So if you know V cross W, then you automatically know W cross V. All you have to do is change the signs. Negative 10I. <clears throat> minus 10j, minus 5k, and we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.